Good afternoon, Coffee House Schmuck here. Pixel Chick asks the question, how did you discover YouTube? Well, this is kind of a long story, but I'll try to make it as short as possible so it doesn't become redundant to anybody. Back in 1996 is when I discovered the Internet. And I didn't go on the internet quite as frequently as I do now. Um, I spent a lot more time watching TV. Now it's mostly internet and I hardly watch any TV. But between 2000 and 2004 there was a program about computers and troubleshooting computers on the G4 Tech TV network that I u really used to like. It was called Call for Help. Call for Help was hosted by a guy by the name of Chris Perillo. Chris Perillo is known here on YouTube as Locker Gnome. So I enjoyed watching his show for a couple years. And then eventually the show got canceled. So fast forward a few years. I think it was somewhere around 2006. And um surfing through the internet and um, looking I believe for a hotel for a vacation or something to that effect. I was, I was going to go on a vacation and I was doing vacation related searches on the internet and I come across this video called the airline safety video. So I click on it and lo and behold it's Chris Perillo doing the video. So I sat there and I watched the video. Now basically it's a satire is what it is. It's, uh, it's a very humorous video to watch. So I watched the video through and I'm like, wow, that's the guy who used to host Call for Help. So what happens is that led me to taking a look at YouTube because I clicked on it through a search engine. I believe it may have been Google, but it might not have been. It might have been another one. And I, um, I was taken to the YouTube video. So all of a sudden I see this thing that says YouTube. So I check it out. I'll take a look at it. Find out that I can do videos myself. And then I got hooked on it by just starting to do videos myself, seeing my recorded video, you know, played back. And I just started enjoying it. Then I started finding other people on YouTube. And then other people started finding me on YouTube. And then that's how the whole thing began. Now I do three to four videos a day. Um, and I'm still friends with Locker Gnome. Um, one of the things I found out that uh, he tries to answer as many emails as he can. Uh, I emailed him back in the early day. Uh, when I first started with YouTube and he got right back to me, he uh, featured me in one of his videos, What is Information Overload? You might want to go check that out. And uh, you figure the amount of uh, subscribers he has, uh, he must get hundreds and hundreds of emails a day. But every time I send him an email, he's responded to it. And you got to admire a person like that. And this is the person that kind of indirectly introduced me to YouTube. I saw one of his videos. And then I emailed him and he replied to the email. And that set pretty well, pretty good with me. I like that. So uh, that's my story. That's how I uh, discovered YouTube. And uh, I've never been the same since. Thank you for starting this forum. I like this. You know, it's a, a good forum to start. A lot of hope, hopefully, a lot of people will reply to it. And uh, like to watch all their answers too. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye.